In big business, gas prices are headed up and up. This time, the average price of gas has hit a record high of, get this, $3.18 a gallon, according to the new Lundberg survey. Prices have risen more than 11 cents over the past two weeks. Is there any relief in sight? And what is causing gas prices to go through the roof like this? Joining us now, Fox senior business correspondent Terry Keenan and hedge fund manager Cody Willard. Welcome to both of you. Terry, they always go up right before summer. We hear that every year. It's the big summer driving season. Mm -hmm. But this seems a little extreme. It does, and prices have gone up much more quickly than in previous springs. And usually prices peak around July 4th. So that's not good news that we're already at record highs before Memorial Day. But gas and prices are up about 30% uh, from their from the beginning of the year, whereas crude oil prices are only up about 15%. And what that tells you is that it's the refining part of what you pay at the gas station rather than the crude oil part that is really contributing to the increase. All right, so Cody, what's, what's the problem with refining in this country? Well, you know, the refining business, the oil business, it has always been for 150 years, it's been a cyclical business. It's going to be a cyclical business for the next 150 years. We're on the up part of that cycle. Things are on fire. My hometown is a oil resort town that, uh, that's dependent upon the uh, it's a mountain resort towns dependent upon oil money from Texas. It's on fire right now. Things are great. I've seen the cycle play out in that hometown two other times. People this are spreading play out the bucks, same. huh? People are spreading bucks because the gas pump at the pump at the price is so high. But you know, I, no, I don't have good news for you this summer. But over the course of the next few years. Gas will head back down. But that's the problem, the boom-bust nature of the refining cycle. You know, big companies, they get a lot of grief for not building new refineries. But aside from all the government red tape that uh, keeps them from doing that, the fact is that these businesses go up and down. And would you want to shell out $5 billion if you're a company to build a new refinery if those refining margins go way down? So that's why uh, we have these problems. Of course, the fact is they are finally starting to do that now in 2007 when they could have been doing that in 2002. Well, one could argue that, that gas, even even at three dollars and eighteen cents a gallon is a bargain. I mean, when you compare it to, you know, uh, milk. Well, milk or you know, a couple of a couple of liters of Pepsi are going to lay. Or even, back a, a, couple or even of a, a liter of water at the store. You go buy a Dasani yeah, water. Bottled water is milk. more, is uh, more than gas. gasoline. And on an inflation-adjusted basis, we are certainly not at record highs. But I think it's because it's something that you buy once or twice a week. You really see the change versus you know something you maybe buy twice a year. You don't see the increase as much. What about the concerns? I mean, we hear on Wall Street that that people pay gas gas prices like these and then they can't go to Walmart and, See, and buy clothing for the kids or whatever. We heard that argument every time. I mean, we heard this in 2005 when prices were up here like this last time. I don't think it's the gas price per se that hurts the consumer as much as, say, what's going on in the subprime lending market. When we hear about the subprime meltdown, everyone thinks about the banks and the car, the car manufacturers that are loaning to these people. But it's the actual consumer, the low-income consumer that's being hit by that contraction of credit, and that's where you're starting to see the retail numbers get hit, not because of the gas itself. A few more refineries, is that going to help? Not in the short run. Yeah, right. and we're not going to have them in the and short run. And in the run, long so. run, the refineries will take the price back down. It takes a long time goes. to build a refinery. Cody Willard and Terry Keenan, thank you both.